How much smartphone can you get for $180? More than you think. This is the third gen Moto G, and it's a game changer for budget phones. Motorola's updated its design, and it shows. The specs are very similar to the second gen Moto G. It's just good enough to run Android Lollipop smoothly. Best of all, there are zero bloatware apps and two really cool features. Twist it to turn the camera really quick. And do a double chop to turn on the flashlight really quickly. The $180 model comes with eight gigabytes of internal storage, which isn't a lot. You'll definitely want to buy a micro SD card to expand it. There's also a 16 gigabyte model for $220. Now the cameras, they're way better than before. There's a 13 megapixel camera on the back and a five megapixel camera on the front for selfies. Photos have lots of detail, great color, and the shutter is very fast. It's impressive for a budget phone. The biggest addition to the new Moto G is its water resistant design. It can be submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. The new Moto G is proof that a great smartphone can be built and sold for a lot less.